And we're back, and I'm reconsidering my stance on spending faith for uh, devotion for some more mercenaries. Um, so we need 215 to hire one more. But there's only heavy infantry left that we could afford. 258. So getting that 100 gold wouldn't even give us enough. So we are also out of luck with these. Could invite agents to the scheme. How much to bribe you for that? Yeah, let's do it. So I think they're going to siege this here. Instead of attacking us. The horse pins his ears back as I approach. His, uh, his disregard for me is crystal clear. The first meeting is important to earn his trust and respect. I need to decide how to go about it. So, diplomacy, prowess. What is our highest? Definitely diplomacy. If I am gentle and move slowly, he will trust me. Oh, very good. We gain a war horse plus 0 0.2 monthly prestige and one martial lifestyle perk unlock. I will keep him as my personal war horse. Now that we have earned his trust. Okay. Casus Belly, what did I want to do? I wanted to go down to strategist, was it? Bellum Justum. Probably go for Parthian tactics next. Admiring the stallion that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call him. Mythology is full of awe inspiring horse names. So, after the horse of King Arthur, Odin. Let's go with Lamrai, after the horse of King Arthur. Okay, we're at 50%. Let's walk toward our ally. Meet up with them. And then we can attack together. Maybe. <laughs> uh, while hosting the lords and ladies realms, near far some opportunities to portray the countess in a good light. My lord, Brajel, who is the most noble lady person you have ever heard of. Uh, well, of course, it's me. Our niece was killed in a siege. All right, so we have joined up with our ally. We'll hopefully follow along and we get to push out the enemy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Too many things happen during during battles. Uh, 
Um, it has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to ruin the capital of Countess Denise of Ruin. Locals newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm in her perception of us. So yeah, let's give them some money. Uh, what battle am I looking at? The Duchess is leading and my commanders. Why am I not leading? Deals 88% damage due to being countered by the horses, but we also have some pike to counter them. These are just countering. And these are only being countered. Down to 66% damage. It looks like we're winning, which is very unf uh, very fortunate. One of my agent has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it. I hope you're afraid of spiders, Raymond. Let's see, maybe we get to kill someone for the first time in Crusader Kings 3. This is annoying. Okay, she was killed by us. Thankfully, the spiders do not talk, so the attack cannot be traced back to us. Which now means... We should... Nope, we're still second in line for this. Who did I kill? I think I broke up an alliance or something. I don't know. I killed someone. I don't remember why and what for. So it looks like we're winning this battle quite valiantly. And now we can uh, maybe potentially select our troops again. And go siege something else. Enemy taken prisoner. We get additional taxes. Our marshal earns respect. Um, yes, I would like to command. Can we stop moving me out of command? So the enemy is going to flee far and wide and we will take that opportunity to begin a new siege. Our ally looks to follow up on the enemy. So I like that change to mercenaries. You buy them, you have them for a while and you better make sure that you can finish what you started while you have them. Let's try and kill this kid and in our intrigue we're going to see if we can't invite someone. How much? 70 gold? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's where we would find secrets. No, now we see. So let's check the details on this battle here. Our knights went really bonkers on them. They have lost way more levies than us. Looks like the enemy is running into our ally. Or not. Oh, they're fighting. Can I watch this battle too? Oh, very good. That's cool. They were very much beaten. So good. Our liege is uh, kind of being taken apart, isn't he? So the enemy starts a counter siege once more. But I am hoping... Okay. Uh, increased autonomy. How many troops will you bring? And why is there there's so many giants in this world? How many troops will you bring?
Peasant rebel starts a war. Let's see, how strong are you? Faction military power, 19%. I have two members. Is that a whole count now? Never. We will rally the troops. That's ah, just 200. Nothing. So we finished this siege. I assume that should push us to win. And then we can take care of those peasants there. Trying their best at playing warfare. Task aborted. Can't increase control anymore. And you go increase control there. 20 years. Come on, win the siege before they do. Come on now, do it. We're almost there. <gasps> there we go. And we shall enforce our demands. And move our troops up there. Above domain limit, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. We can create the Duchy of Champagne. We do not have the money, but we can get the money. So we will go get the money, ask the head of our faith for some money. Money, please! And now... Here comes the tax refund. It's fine, let's create this title. And we are now a mighty duke! Who would have thought that we would make that a reality? Oh, well, that's fantastic, isn't it? And again, we get the achievement moving up in the world, but I think this time we get it for creating a duchy title. Because before, when we, uh, when we played in Africa, we already had a duchy title to begin with. Um, alliance invalid. Expired. Okay. So now that we are a count, a duke, no? Oh, we had war. But we can definitely propose an alliance with Anjou. Alright, let's stand on our troops. They have been... Uh, enforced demands. Okay, can I stand them down now? Yes. Alright, we are over the domain limit and we have a county holding that we can't hold. So I'm going to make Riam into a vassal. Uh, how do I do that? I click on grant 2. And if I give it to a son of mine, he's not eligible to inherit anything else because he now becomes a bishop, doesn't it? Doesn't he? Hey. Now we have an empty council position because my spy master was apparently from there. Mayor Selen. Yeah. Being raided, victory after victory. We are second in line for this, so we're still trying to kill that boy. Can negotiate an alliance with our prince bishop, our son there. Because he is our child. But first, I want to make sure that we get our Anjou alliance going. 
No. Who are we swaying? Let's sway her instead. Okay. Let's negotiate an alliance with our son. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness Pope Benedictus to declare his intention of forging a righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of St. George. Deus Vult. We now have access to crusades. And we have gotten our alliance with our little prince bishop there. I don't even think he's good at it. Well, he's not terrible at it. Covetous adventurer at 15. So he's excluded from succession now. And apart from him, we only have daughters anymore. Let's see. Who can we get matrilineally? The county of Rouen. Oh. Well. Ah, very good. We were trying to forge an alliance there anyway. So that way we get it. A faction was created against him. Stop telling me about being raided. I'm not being raided. All those mayors. I like how they're powerful with 80 troops or something. Um, <laughs> I think I will draw up the map myself. And we have gained a map. Let's see. Intrigue. Judith. With a little 50 gold bribe. Let's do it. Let's invite her. So the whole agent thing is also reworked, I like it. Oh. We learn of Queen Mother Clorinda. That there is some disputed something going on there. <laughs> Not sure what that means yet, but I'm certain it means something. The faithful prepare for war. A papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Benedictus issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic duke, I am expected to prepare my men in support for this most holy cause, sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To all those who will take the fight against the infidels. Holy grounds of Jerusalem. I mean, there are some more immediate issues, don't you think? Alright, okay, so pledge to join the crusade. As soon as it starts, we gain 90. The war chest receives 10,000 pri- no, 1,000. <laughs> um, so we could help him. Uh, no. My warriors will be ready to fight. We pledge ourselves. And now we need to select a beneficiary. Who will be our beneficiary? A nephew of ours. Does he hold claims on anything? The county of Lille, which is in the north there. Um, yeah. Our nephew shall be our beneficiary. But... I don't get to click that button. My niece? Dear game, just tell me who I'm allowed to pick because it doesn't look like I'm getting to pick anyone. Why not? Okay. Could uh, right. We could redirect the war to the kingdom of Aquitan. Okay, but we don't have the piety to make it happen. Am I allowed to do this now? No. 
Right. Agent joined the thie scheme. They grow up so fast. So don't choose this expire double as quick and we don't get um, an issue on this. Is this not how it works? Again, broke truce for three years. General opinion, minus 50. Wait. Where is it? Flexible truces. Ah, it's no prestige penalty. So long, how long will this truce last now? 28. So two years. Well, we can we can wait for that, and then we will absorb province. Yeah, I want to. I really want to. See, see how I'm trying. Oh, oh, I was oh, I was hovering over the thing that gives us information on this. That's why I couldn't click it. Oh, that's silly. That's very silly. That is very silly. Very silly. Oh, silly Crusader Kings. Silly, silly Crusader Kings. I've seen something like that in, in web applications and, and whatnot, but I've never seen it in a game. Price is too steep for my beloved little Merle. Yeah, I want... I want to save the horsey. It's our horsey. Look at him. Old Prince Bishopy. Okay, he now knows there's a murder plot against him. Big fat shame. Crusade is gaining strength. How do I even get my troops down there? And when does it start? In five months. Um, I don't have ships. So, oh, no, 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 no. You don't need ships anymore. Right. They changed that. Armies just, just turn into ships. So, ladies and gentlemen, as is tradition, we will raise our troops before anything even begins and we will start sending them toward Jerusalem. See? They will just become boats. But our commander will be us. Not some upstart knight. I really like the choir music. Oh, right. Should probably check my dungeons from time to time. Uh, this guy. Are you good at anything? Not really. I'll just get a weak hook and he can leave. We have increased our control. It's naked court. I'm heading for my chambers and enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear the faint rustle from a window. Just the wind, I think. Open up my beauty, it is I, Leon. I don't care. So, three months is quite a lot of time. Sounds like it's short. Oh, what? Embark cost. Well, lucky we have money. I didn't know that costs money. I mean, it makes sense. Child benefits from spouse's tutelage. 
So, having increased control... No, it doesn't finish it up. Helps. The Crusade for Je Jerusalem. The time has finally come to bring St. George's holy wrath against the vile infidels in Jerusalem. Deus Vult. Okay, so... Stuff is already divided between us, is it? No. But look at our mighty fleet. Sailing towards destiny. Oh, what? Wait, do we have Pike in our army? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like that. So they stick around. Even if you dis disband your army, they will they will stick around. And we cannot increase this because we don't have money. <laughs> uh, speaking of, we don't have money. Oh, we have a Marshall Park available. Naval speed, siege effectiveness. Toughness, toughness, toughness. Let's go for that. We're about to go sieging and we're sailing, so... It's probably good. We will start losing money, however. I am not the big fan of that. Alright. We'll just land here. Jerusalem is somewhere here. I can't see Jerusalem, but it's there. So we will march... On this city. And hopefully get a bit of money out of sieging. Soldier of the Cross. Our army stand poised to take part in the Crusade of Jerusalem. St. George willing, we will soon rise victorious. The blood of the heathens painting the soil red. So we gain the trait Crusader. Marshal plus two, prowess plus one. Clergy opinion. Very good. And we are in Jerusalem itself, the holy city. Garrison supplies, it's fully stocked. <laughs> the besiegers are deserting already. Good stuff, fel folk. Oh, we're no longer losing money, that's, that's good. Poor rhetoric. Okay. So do we still see like our war contribution or anything? Oh, we see our share, which is not bad. I hope sieging the target of the crusade and actually winning helps. Our mercenary company was dismissed. I like that system. That's a good new change. I really enjoy that. So, garrison supplies are down to starvation levels. And rampant sickness. Look how the images change. The walls are intact, however. I like this. That's enjoyable, too. But our troops are also quite diminished. More desertion of our soldiers. So what does that mean? Port level is too high. Add a better siege men at arms to finish the siege faster. So I suppose at some point we should get ourselves some Onagas. More crusaders are arriving. Adelaide comes of age. And you are not married. Let's get you something matrilineally. County of Castle. Yeah. Let's go with the County of Castle. They are in Germany. 
Not too far, not too close. Come on, finish the siege. We're nearly there. We have done it! We have finished the siege of Jerusalem, no less. A local bird trainer could deliver it as a gift. Let us do that. Oh no, there, there's a bunch of uh, armies there. Retreat! Brave soldiers of the cross, retreat and follow with the bigger armies. Come on, will we arrive in time to join in? Yes. We have. Send our troops down here because they are probably trying to resiege Jerusalem. Uh, but it looks like the Crusaders are kind of flopping about. Not super sure what to do. So let's see, is there anything with a fairly low fort level? What was Jerusalem for? Two. We went to the wrong battle. But we will join eventually. Worry not. Okay. Now we'll go siege here. After having participated in several very successful battles there. 2,000 prestige is... Uh, that's, that's good. An attractive option there. So the main crusader host sits over there. We're in a little bit of a precarious situation. We are a bit exposed and there are no immediate allies that would reinforce us should the heathens choose to attack us. But we are building the bridgehead for more crusader hosts to enter. This looks like a peasant army. So what do these consist of mostly? Men at arms. Some pike. Some skirmishes. Cost it. Okay. My agents have scheduled a journey for Andika, which will take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery. We have 35%. Let's try it. Such a dangerous place. Andika has left the world, sent off by a bandit's blade. The bandits are now hunted by all, but no one even suspects my involvement. Very good. So we should now be... Damn it. <laughs> Time to murder! It's like the Crusader host is challenging the Muslim armies once more. So we won another siege, but we don't seem to be getting anything for it. Three, three, two. We'll just go siege the things that have a level of two. While still within what we're coming for. That's a fairly small area we're trying to get, isn't it? The chest flora of Slepeto. What are you fighting over? In the independence war. 
Oh, she was a vassal of yours? This is really gory. Those borders make no sense. How strong are you anyway? 3,000. How strong am I anyway? A better question. Shameful truth has reached the light of day. Our knight has copulated with our daughter. I mean, his spouse died. He's really good. These accusations are naught but malice and lies. A scandal. If only it could have stayed a secret. My sinful act? Excuse me? I am a crusader, I have you know. There is nothing sinful about my acts. So our siege is almost done. Meaning we can start fighting the enemy here. Our truce with Duchess Adeltraud ends. I am once again free to declare war upon her as I please. My Chancellor has worked hard to do that. Very good. I like the little pose they had. Prisoners can be ransomed. 10 gold. That's all. <laughs> A good deal. And how much for her? 25. Take it. So this will be a balanced battle, but they yet choose to flee. We're at a 90% war score. Let us push and pursue. We might even catch them. And so we do. Well, we catch a part of them and easily dispatch of the enemy. Forward men. Victorious Crusade. St. George has granted King Engerrand victory in the Crusade for Jerusalem after defeating Caliph al Mutawakil and his heathen warriors on several occasions. With the occupied lands firmly under the leadership of a pious Catholic ruler, we can rest assured that the divine will of St. George has been enacted. So, our nephew is now the king here. And we can play as him if we wish to. But it is time to focus on our realm indeed. So what do we get? We won the war. It lasted for three years. And we get 152 gold, 480 piety and 2000 prestige. Our beneficiary, thusly, is rank 1 because we have contributed 20%. Now, we have gotten 20% or our score gave us 20%. Whatever. We got all. We got most. So, can I stand down my troops in Jerusalem without incurring a penalty? Is that possible? Everyone else seems to do it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I don't have to walk them all the way back home. Well, Jerusalem, you will be a little bit hard-pressed down there. So. Empty council position. All right. A marshal. Prince Bishop Jack. Or should we go for a vassal and knight, rather? Definitely a meritocracy. I need good people on this. So. You have two allies, the Duke of Provence, which is fairly large, and the Duke of Aquitaine, which I don't even know. Somewhere in here, probably. You are quite strong. Quite strong. I am not yet as quite strong. So. You would think 
the money that we get out of the crusade is uh, is a lot, but in reality, it's, it's not all that much. We are fourth in line for Jerusalem. Goodness, no. Um, a round trainer wants to train our war horsey. Needs to be stronger. What wars can we declare? Ah, his training is going well. Very good. Horsey is getting better. County of Vermandois against Neustria. How strong are you? Well, they have a good amount of. Um... So let's let's work with these a little bit more. Let us get ourselves a regiment of Onagas as well. Caesar's Triumph. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar's exploit during his conquest of Gaul. During his siege of Alesia, Caesar determined that direct assault on the well-fortified city would be too costly. He instead ordered his army build his own fortress, which surrounded the entire city, trapping the enemy garrison inside to starve while sim simultaneously preventing reinforcements from relieving the defenders. So we would become a military engineer. Uh, an unyielding defender, which gives us stress because we're brave or reckless. Um, yeah, I like military engineer, so we'll do that. That's cool. Especially that they put in the actual historical facts on it. I like that. I think we're going to increase our uh, bowmen some more. These just have been absolutely fantastic for us. What are these even good for? Spearmen. Let's get some horsemen too. All our money is spent on men-at-arms, but it will be for the good of the realm, eventually. Let's propose an alliance with Anjou. We have swayed her far enough. Marvelous news. Okay, she has hired mercenaries. Illustrious devoted servant, a new martial perk. Raid speed and supply capacity plus 200%. Not bad. What else do we get? Movement speech. Yeah, speech. That's movement speech, definitely. Parthian. Oof. Man at arms counter efficiency, wow. These are really strong. Really, really strong. I think we can stop swaying her now. Don't need to sway her any further. Um. How do we get rid of of all this. Yeah, a child lost in the forest. It happens tragically often. And they say children are the future. Thankfully, everyone agrees. It's a terrible tragedy. So... We are overwhelmed by stress now. Perhaps a new view of God will help us. 
lose a bit of piety. Or maybe a different kind of outlet will help. We gain the trait athletic. Small health boost. Yeah. Let's become athletic. Hello. That's fantastic. Look at that. The Duchy of Angria just exists there. Wait, no. Are you a vassal of Francia? He is. Okay, diligent training. I'm greeted by happy Nays of Lamriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We must take every moment to practice. Okay, so we have to go really far out to actually see Frankia in its glory. I get what they're doing here with this zooming. I get it. It makes some sense. So we know that China is coming eventually with the ripped off corners there. I like those paintings, it's very cute. Alba, look at that. Umayyad, however, are quite imposing. Empty council position, our marshal again. Let's assign this knight. I really like them, they look so knightly. really want to attack them but they're so strong mercenaries and the pikemen and everything there's so many levies too well they would take a while to get to us and we have enough prestige to call in all our allies if we need so you know what we shall go ahead and press our claim up here. Oh, we are Mandua. And we'll raise all our troops here. Send them onward immediately onto where Mandua. We siege lead personally, and we will also call in an ally or two. Calling in House Milon doesn't cost me anything. So we'll call him. Okay, so we are now first in line for Orléans. Meaning, she needs to die. And she will be bribed once more to help us because she has been taking out this family for a good long while. Okay. Our family member joins us. We should see their troops. Well timed bribe. What is a little gold after all? Quite a bit right now. It's too risky. Let's get some gold. Thank you very much, dear Pope. All right, their troops are in the north there. We do have enough to counter them. And oh, they have a lot of pike. Some horses. A 
Let's call in another ally. Flanders, maybe? Let's get Flanders. We can't afford it. Just so we have the definitive number superiority. Why are you starting to move? Well, probably the enemy is going to go for Langres, so I'll have to go meet them there. Let's wait for our allies real quick. We'll have the time, I hope. What are you fools doing? Come on. Can I call him into my war? Alright, so our troops have engaged in battle. The skirmishers are pretty much taken out. The horsemen, ours, are a little bit taken out. And we're just banking on our allies to join quickly. Quickly now. There we go. We have a new heir. Our grandson is now the new heir. Since our son was murdered by Carlos in battle. And we become stressed being overwhelmed by it once more. So who do we put in? This man. So we have won this battle. Barely. I think we should pursue. However, our allies seem to have different ideas of what to do. Where are you going? I think the AI knows where they are going to go. So they're kind of trying to head them off. We'll just follow our ally and make the best of that, maybe. All right, we caught up to them. And our allies once more join us. They have so much land. And I have so little. Okay. We'll trust her abilities and her intrigue has increased by one. Indeed, it worked out in, in our favor. Enemy combatants captured. Our counselor has died. Acquaintance has died. King Elaine was excommunicated. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Definitely what you want for your ruler to be excommunicated. Will we catch them? Yeah, definitely. They're not moving anywhere. Defensive building. Better army commander. 
But you don't know about my allies coming up, do you? Didn't consider that. We have gained the trait one-legged and one-eyed. What the hell? Did it just lose a leg and an eye? Ow. We have died. Duke Milon of Champagne has abandoned his mortal coil at 50 years of age. He died from his wounds, a zealous man. He fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars in recent history. Duke Arm Amori ascends to the throne having mastered many skills. He is sure to be admired by his subjects. All right. First things first, we are now again um, a grandson. But there's a brother. Let's check our inheritance here, a line of succession. So th it looks like there's plenty of family members left to succeed. Uh, let's... I can't assign him a guardian, it looks. So the seven-year-old... Tolna... Petty Kingdom of Wessex. Yeah. It's a good alliance. That's a good alliance to have. Because I fear all my existing alliances are now gone again. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way, enemy. And my troops can't even stop walking. It's probably going to try and counter siege. Or rather, retake what he sieged. So let's say elite quality. Quality, gorgeous power in an army that only contains knights and men at arms will be of high quality. Army containing large number of levies will be low quality. A smaller army with a high quality will punch well above their weight. Carefully consider both the amount of soldiers and quality before you engage the enemy. Okay. So just some raiders. They're definitely going to try and take the siege back. So we must engage them, or at least discourage them heavily from their attempts there. More commander traits, higher qual- Higher quality? I will lose decisively. Oh right, I don't have a command anymore. I died. So we still lose decisively. Oh, he's running away. It's good enough. Good enough for me if he runs. Let's just keep flanking him a little bit. So he doesn't know what to do. Potential battle. He will probably lose. I just want my allies to be like one county away before we start this. 
You will win decisively all of a sudden. We lost some soldiers there that might have been... That might have been... Some mercenaries routing. You must stop the villain at once, yeah. Alright, let's go and uh, do another siege and that should finish it up. And let's put in the siege commander for this. All right, so we got a small breach. Garrison supplies are running low. All very good for us. War score keeps ticking up. Gotten a lot from battles. Will not accept unless you get 100%. Stubborn fool. Vermandois is mine. It belongs into Champagne. Don't you worry, Aquitaine. I'm coming for you as well at some point. There will be inheritance and there will be a breakage of alliances. You will see. There we go. We won. We will enforce our demands. Getting everything we ever dreamt of. Bring home our troops. Yeah. So we have two holdings more than we can reasonably hold. Let's disband this army and I think I'm going to give my uncle Vermandois as well. Because he just cycles through. So he gets Vermondo as well. That's one duke there. Uh, well, one count. And we could create another count here. Oh, I'm out playing with Antoine. When I hear it, it is a sound, frail and scared. I look all over, under the stone, around every corner, behind every bush, and finally I find a small puppy alone and sits between. And we get a pet dog. Oh, Diplomacy. It will be Shadow. Or she will be Shadow, rather. The... Rowdy children will often well... Okay, we switch our focus. Oh, thank God we can change it. Education focus to military. And educate. And who's the best military mind around? This man. I mean, at least he's a miss... I mean... It's better than anyone else. Who are you betrothed to here? Who are you? Petty Kingdom of Wessex. Oh, ransom. A hundred gold to me, yeah, thanks. I'll take that. Or did I just give someone a hundred gold? I got a hundred gold. I can ransom this guy. This guy. 
And we are still the first in line for only ons, so... This lady will eventually have to die. Good deal. Wow. This has been very long, but it was also very eventful. We created our duchy. Um, or did we do that in the last one? No, we created our duchy now. Ooh, Anjou is... Fairly big. Do we have something to potentially get an alliance here? No. Shame. Well, we're not the biggest boy in town, but we're also not the smallest boy in town. Sadly, we do not have any alliances any Why is he naked? Oh, he's a drunkard. <laughs> oh my. Right, so this was uh, eventful and interesting and quite fun. We had our first crusade and all types of things happened. Maria has decided that the time in Lagres has come to an end. The servants have packed the chess. And with Maria goes a claim on the county of Pua. Uh, fine. Bye-bye. <laughs> what do I care? Um, yeah. So the Umayyad is still pretty strong. We'll, we'll see how things progress and how can our realm grow a little bit more. Oh, we get to choose this. There's so much stuff happening all the time. Give others, work hard, or patient. Man, all these are good. Let's see. Diligent, stress gain plus 20%. Generous, monthly income. Now we go with uh, patient, looks to be the best one. Hostile scheme resistance, that's good. All righty then. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye-bye.